Hello, in this video demonstration we're going to take a look at a commonly asked question and that is how to upgrade or install the SOLIDWORKS Network License Manager for 2010. In this scenario we're going to assume that you already have a 2009 Network License Manager running. So the first step will be to deinstall the old version. If you are installing fresh on a new server with 2010 you can ignore this step. But uh, to begin let's go to the Windows Control Panel Add Remove Programs, and we need to look through the list of installed programs, find the SOLIDWORKS License Manager, and remove it. Now if you have licenses already out uh, in use, don't worry about this. Uh, the users have about a 20 minute grace period where they aren't connecting to the license server, so you should be able to do this right under the noses of your users. Alternatively, of course, you can wait until all users have logged off. Now that we've uninstalled the license manager, we can now browse to our software download or our DVD and uh, begin the installation of the 2010 version. Uh, if you browse the DVD, you're going to look at the root level and look for the directory SWLICMGR. And this folder structure will be exactly the same if you have a download of the software or if you're browsing the DVD. Here I'm just browsing to a downloaded directory where I've already downloaded the SOLIDWORKS 2010 product. I'll double click on the SW License Manager folder and then you'll see the setup executable. Launch this. We'll say next to the first screen. We're now prompted for our serial number. Now if we had a previous installation, the serial number would be in place for us. Now an important note, if you have multiple network serial numbers, for example a SOLIDWORKS serial number plus a simulation or maybe a flow simulation serial number, you can enter all of your serial numbers in one at one time separated by a comma. They can run off of the same server. Now we'll say next and we'll begin the installation and I'll just accept the default location. Now that the installation is finished, we'll go ahead and launch the License Manager utility and activate and configure it. From the Start menu, you should find a new SOLIDWORKS 2010 program group and you'll see your License Manager utility in the Start menu. Your Start menu may look a little different from mine. When we launch the License Administrator, you may get a prompt that prompts you to activate the license. If not, click on the Modify button and follow the steps to activate your software license. Choose the options for whether a firewall is in use, verify the computer name of your server and the port number. You should be able to leave these alone, especially if you're just upgrading from a previous Network License Manager version. An important step, if you have multiple serial numbers, you'll need to go through the activation step for each serial number. And this is something that users commonly overlook. There is a drop-down list here that will show multiple serial numbers if you have them. So just remember to go through the activation process for each serial number. We'll choose to activate automatically over the internet, and then we just need to enter a contact email. Activation will take place over the internet. Should just take a few seconds. The great thing about the 2010 License Manager is that it no longer requires the USB dongle. Activation just takes place over the internet. Once we're successful, we'll see a license count that shows our versions, our number of licenses, and all the products that are authorized, and we can choose Finish. You can then use the License Administrator in the way that you're accustomed to in order to verify license usages, server list information, license borrowing, and to set license order. Nothing has changed really in 2010 in that regard. If for any reason you ever need to transfer your license to another server, just come back into the License Administrator, choose Modify, transfer your license, and then go through this process to install and activate on the new server and you'll be good to go in no time flat. So there's a great little introduction to how to upgrade or install the 2010 Network License Manager. Really easy stuff.